don't marry the first girl you're going to meet. The, the reason I say this is I've even seen the guys go there with their Filipino wives and they run amok. You know, they, they're in an area where, a country where women are looking for foreign guys um, and it's not uh, discreet, it's very, very blatant and can be quite competitive in some ways. So they get they arrive there they're all happy with their wife they've been with them for like five years some of the guys but when they get there they have the reverse of what happens with some of the guys when they take their wives overseas um they suddenly get a lot of interest from the local girls and it doesn't matter where you are you could be sitting having a coffee you'll have women approach you wanting to give you give you their phone number you could walk along in the mall and and people stop you it's just the way things are, you know, that um, we're still seen as the golden ticket. Um, and I know a lot of people will say, well, we're not rich. If you live in some of the environments some of these people do, you're extremely rich. You're the complete reverse of their life. Um, so even though you're um, modestly living, there, it's a big difference. It's a huge uh, wealth gap. Um, but the other thing is, I've seen guys get married to the first girl they meet, and then six months down the line, they've got a girlfriend, and then they've got another girlfriend. Why do it? You don't have to get married. Spend your time there. Uh, meet other people. Enjoy the country. Relax. Find out where you want to live. Do you really want to live there? And if you meet the right girl or think there's a right girl, spend time with her. Because one of the things that people forget is when you're with somebody 24-7, conversation can run rather dry. She may not be the most beautiful girl you've ever seen, but she may have an extremely low IQ, very poor education. And after six months, if you got married, you ain't got that relationship that you originally were hoping for. Um, and I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen people actually complain about their wives, yet they're the guys that married them in the first place. You, you know, the the wife's doing what she can do. You know, at the end of the day, if she never finished high school, for example, and her mentality is to look after the house, she's got to um, provide children, whatever. You know, being the wife, um, it doesn't include discussions about... Um, the Super Bowl or whatever it is that you find lacking in your relationship. That's why six months, just get to know them, spend a bit of time with them, understand them, find out if they've got any baggage. Because um, I've met people that have married, uh, well, sorry, not just married, just moved in together with the wrong person. I know a guy that spent, I think it's 3.4 million pesos in a house in his girlfriend's name. And then his girlfriend's husband and three kids turned up at our house looking for her because she just left the house one day. Um, I didn't know the girl. I didn't know the guy. And I didn't, you know, I knew the guy that he, he'd come from Australia, but I didn't know the girl was married and she's not from our neighborhood. Um, but it was just a bizarre thing to have where a woman's basically dropped her entire family and went off with a white guy. Um, Obviously, she's got the rights to the house because it's all in her name. And my joke was, well, maybe one day you'll come downstairs and find that the husband's sitting there with his slippers on, having a nice cup of tea, and the wife cooking in their house. You know, these things can happen.